So hello and welcome fans and admirers get back with Assassin's Creed Valhalla and we'll be starting from the point we stopped during my devastating live stream which was during the rude and awakening where we, had, we were traveling along with Eivor's brother and Wazim, the part of the unknown brotherhood. Wazim and Haytham, two parts of the unknown brotherhood and we will be traveling with our brother. Yeah. So yeah, let's dive straight into it without any worries or anything and yeah, before all of that, thank you all for the great support. You guys are everything to me and yeah, I have nothing without you guys and I am really humbled by the response I got. So thank you all, this means a lot to me. So yeah, grab your headphones and without further ado, let's dive in. So yeah, there are some prime reasons why I am not uh, live streaming it again because as I said, the you guys are everything, you deserve the most of it. So yeah, you guys deserve the quality. So and if I live streamed it, Mind that I have a RTX 2060 but still the quality drops a lot so yeah that's why I'm not live streaming so that was the reason if you are wondering why I'm not live streaming it again yeah. Let's get out of here. Mandur, it appears your ship is like one of Holger's stories. Never quite finished. <laughs> Get me some decent wood and I can finish it in a week. But Styrbjorn won't gift me any. There was a little plunder at Avalsnes, but if I come across any, it'll be yours. Okay then. Steady 57 to 60 FPS would not have been maintained. Plus, the quality would have been degraded a lot. We're and off! Can't raise the sail yet. Sing, my ravens! Let the sail out! Warriors, when I was away, far from these frozen shores, wondering if I should ever see home again, I grew afraid. Afraid I would not return in time to see Kurtves end. Afraid I would not see him bleed out like a stuck pig in a drift of snow. But here I am, home in time to join those I have missed, those I love, in this glorious fight. Today we seize Nochtval from Kurtve. Tonight his heart will pulse with worry. Tomorrow it will burst from fear. He will beseech the gods for aid. For they will be deaf to his cries. And soon the Raven Clan will feast on his dead. You know these isles best, Wolfkist. Lead us to victory. I will show the way, but you must lead us there. Oh, Eivor. I missed having you at my side. 
How I wish I could have taken you along on my travels. Stevian did not trust fate with both our lives. You have no reason to fear. Together, we are unstoppable. So, as we are on the coast... Strike of the June. Let me tell you. So, about the future plans of this... Uh, what it's called. Channel. So I'll be painting more Genshin Impact for sure and you'll see my singing side a lot that this. I'm working on it. Get ready! So yeah, let's go and read now. Bloody harvest. Who are you, Gester? Name yourself. I know his face. He met with your father not long ago. I did, indeed. I am Guthorm, uncle to King Harold of the North. 
I speak for my nephew when there is need. This is not King Harold's land. Why does he send warriors so far south? You may ask him yourself, my lord. Thank you, uncle. And you are Sigurd of the Raven Clan, is that right? Son of the wise King Stebjorn. I am. And you are standing on his land, King Harold. Land we have reclaimed with blood and steel. That I see, and I honor it. For I have not come to war against you, but for you, at the request of your father. The canny wolf. Was this the plan he spoke of? I offer my support. With my warriors, your Raven clan can take Kjotve's fortress and settle this rivalry for good. This is good news, Eivor. The Wandering King will tip our fortunes. That's the thing. What is it? Why risk your men to help us, King? Have you a stake in this fight? This war between Ketwe's clan and your own has long simmered on my southern border. I wish to see it put to rest. There would be no peace while Ketwe lives. But there is much agreement between your father and me. This blood feud runs deep, King Harold. We welcome your help, but I must lead the charge. I see. Is this a question of honor? It is. Many winters ago, Chatve broke an oath to our fathers. He betrayed a friendly peace and slaughtered many. I understand. Sigurd Jarl will lead the assault against Chatve and his clan. Give him full command of my ships and my warriors. When your victory is in hand, Sigurd, find me at Alrekstadir, and we will celebrate together. Our men will gather at Florley, near the mouth of the fjord northeast of here. Will you join us? Hold a moment. You captain our longship, Eivor. Meet us there, and we will claim Kjotve's head for the gods. Brother, I have waited too many years for this day. When Kjotve stands before us, give me the final blow. You will have it, Eivor. You deserve it. Mm, I'm spending something fishy here. Eivor, give us a hand. Adald is generous with his troops. More than I would be. I cannot fathom his game. He's either a young fool, or deceptively wise. Whatever his reason, I have a good feeling this war is near its end. Nice transition there. see the scale tree then I'll decide where to spend it actually and after that so before that let me see my weapons this thing is too heavy to carry 70 attack 68 stun have anything to upgrade okay Nothing to upgrade then. Yep, let's 
Let's upgrade the skills then. Yeah. So this is where we reached until the have the way of so under here we have steel and under stealth we have the way of the raven selected for better attack stun critical damage and everything it's quite uh, what is called rounded thing and uh, here under the range we have health and way of the wolf selected we have two more things uh, on the melee we have meta resistance and ability damage so let us see we have two points to spare uh, stun melee range resistance yeah. and what does this open up headshot damage i'm not good at just increase the stun. Okay, done. Now let us head for the next quest. Otherwise, I won't be able to finish anything. Oh, don't fall. I don't know. Oh. Where are you, Mr. Sigurd? Uh, here? I don't see anyone. Achha. Up, 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 and away. <laughs> A synchronized option so. no I don't Eivor, you missed the opening act. Kurtwe's forward camp melted like a spring thaw at our approach. Is it from here we launch our attack? We do indeed, and we are ready to fight. King Harold's forces are well in place. Only give the word. I will, but before we strike, I have a request. Name it. The neighbor may give challenge to Kurtve at the gate of his fortress. A battle to the death in single combat. Is... is this what you want? Kurtve robbed my father of all honor and dignity. I will win it back. When honor is at stake, let none interfere. And if Kurtve should die before the battle begins, all the better for our chances. Today my blade must do the work of Skull's sharp scissors, and cut short the cord of Chutve's fate. Well said, my sharp-tongued warrior scout. May we all live to hear that saga sung. Eivor, a word! Basim, Hytham. This feud is not yours, yet you fight it all the same. I find that strange. You find it strange because you are wrong. Our clan, the Hidden Ones, have been fighting with Kjotve's order for centuries. You came from Miklagard to kill Kjotve yourself. We did. Or rather, we came so that Hytham could kill him. 
My apprentice has been studying this target for many months. Is Kjadve's reputation so great outside Norway? Not his reputation alone, but the order to which he belongs. Something of a rival clan to our own. Hytham, I mean no disrespect to you or the Hidden Ones, but Kjadve is mine. My family's honor is at stake. I understand. All that matters is that Kjotve dies this day. On that, we are agreed. Seeger is only here to watch me feed your renets to my raven. Look at this! Once again, Abel Wolfkist appears to take a swipe at me! This... This is my father's shame. Today I take back the honor he lost. I call the home gang! Here! Against the Oathbreaker! Your father begged Wolf Kid. Squeal as your mother squealed. You destroyed my life. I will take you. Rise, Ava. What the heck was this that? This is not your day to die. Why do you refuse to die? We are not alone, Chatve. The old father watches. My blade will drink your blood. Your flesh will feed my wolf.
shameful trick will kiss you give all your father's child. of your doom. Your father is dead, Gorm! His debt's repaid! Open the gates and you will be spared! Wallow in shit, Wolfkist! Archers, take aim! Ravens, show! No mercy! Archers, fire! Watch my back! All over for you! <laughs> 
Watch for the counter! You are a shadow of your father, Gorm! Weak and witless! And you will leave this place as ashes on the wind! Father dies twice today. Mm. One for honor, one for really. rises from my brow. The scouts will sing of this night. We have won the day, but Gorm escaped. He fled north to King Harald's domain. Let that bruised piglet run where he may. His father is dead. His clan is no more. We are the masters of Ruyavilke. A toothless cub may grow to be a dangerous wolf. Eivor, stop. And listen. You have reclaimed your honor. Enjoy the night's victory. Tomorrow, we will celebrate. You're right, brother. You are always right. Guth Ormur, relay news of our victory to your nephew, the king. I have done so already, Sigurd. He'll be more than pleased. and will ensure you pride of place at his holding at Ulrikstani. Tell him we will come. Battle first and singing songs of glory. Keep company with kings and you will soon have a crown of your own. <laughs> if the fates have spun it so, linger here and loot what you can. I will bring news of our victory to father before he leaves for Harald's Althing. I know, Sona. Another time. Does it? And we have another three in inventory. 
what is it? Collectible. And broken bro. And another quest. We'll call it a day after finishing this quest. Series and yeah, yeah. bringing you cyberpunk also when it comes out eventually. And until then, I'll finish this Assassin's Creed. Trying to bring more than one episode per day. The thing that happened is that I became horrible <laughs> after the first live stream and thank you for coming out of nowhere. That's not why. You 
have just won your heart's desire, Eivor. Yet by the look on your face, you have lost your will to live. Gorum is here with the last of his men. Why does that troll dare to show his face? Leave it for another day. We are here under Harald's truce, and Gorm is too weak to try anything bold. He's a seed stain on his father's trousers. I should wipe him from this world. Not tonight, Eivor. Leave it. Basim, watch over this one, and see that she warms herself with drink. I will find my father, and escort him to the longhouse. As you wish. Is Hytham well? He will heal, but never fully recover. It is fortunate that you were able to succeed where he failed. My resolve was strong. When you slew Kjotve, did you see a sigil on him? Silver, the size of my palm, bearing the symbol of an ash tree? Take it. Trade it for what you can. I know where Gorm is camped. If you wish to see him without anyone the wiser, there is a trick I can teach you. Already looking for another princess. All right, I'll bite. What do I do? Use your cloak to obscure your face. Blend into the crowd. Divert attention. Hide in plain sight. A gift of knowledge from a man I hardly know. Is this your way of asking me to join your brotherhood? Not at all. So long as men and women fight to secure honor and freedom, the religions hardly matters to me. I suppose there's no shame in using deception when honor is at stake, and Gorum is a stain on that honor. Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. Nice. A few things you should know before you step into his camp. Walking unseen through hostile territory is an exercise in subtlety. Hood makes you forgettable, dismissed at a distance. Remain far from watchful eyes, and you will be invisible to them. Do not draw blade or hammer, for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. <laughs> and in case I wasn't clear, what see you, old friend? You will need to put up your hood for the trick to work. Gorm is there, in the camp ahead.
Arker, shit! Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. What say you to that? <laughs> you can beat me, but you will not kill me. Not under Harald's truce. You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. I will give you no trouble. You are shed into this world without honor, Gorm, and you will leave as a turd dumped into hell's deepest ditch. Keep crowing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. The Alding will have started. I should find Sigurd. Well, let's find Sigurd and end it here. Na kalta sari tam server. Pains me to say. He does. Thank you. His day will come. Oh, gods. I hate long speeches. Only when you're not giving them. Many of you knew my father, Halfdan the Black. A great man who achieved great things. They buried Halfdan's leg near our temple. The crops have never grown tall. <laughs> they buried his arse near ours. And we get nothing but a muddy river! <laughs> I dream of something greater. A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify. And turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blooded before the age of ten and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask, who among you rejects this new arrangement? 
I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble Jor. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this lord. We do not limp together, we fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Luvina. But I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. My king, I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kjotveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjotve. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Bagrat, you lie! Hold, Eivor. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm, and a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Eivor Wolfkist, you are Kjotve's slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? I would send him to hell, as I did his father. Understandable. But a quick death is too good for a Draugr like him. Gorm, I name you Worm and call you exiled. Leave these lands by the next full moon, or I will feed you to the crows myself. King Harold. May I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me, not a word, and I will not yield a title that should be mine by right. Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall, you drink adult cow, alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, Stebjorn Jarl, and I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear change, to resist it. But all things change and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. That was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stebjorn's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. All I know of fate is that its pattern is unknowable. I do not worry beyond that fact. I wish I understood you better. For those I do not understand, I do not trust, and I cannot stomach a lack of trust. You have nothing to fear from me, King Harald. My loyalty lies with my brother Sigurd, and I bear you no ill will. Then know that if you stay in Norway, both you and your brother must serve under me. Take tomorrow to think on this. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new. That was tough to digest. Really tough. Harald's colors. 
He's already marking his territory. Marking? Gods, he's spraying like a horny pup. Harald may be young, but he's clever. Do not underestimate him. He came of age very quickly. Okay, I think we'll end it. I guess we'll end it on that point, on that heavy thing. <laughs> Was too much to digest for Eivor and Sigurd. And we'll end it on that. We'll continue with the Sea of Fate to see what fate awakes everyone King Harald, Eivor, Sigurd, everyone. And we'll continue on that point very soon. Until then, you can let me know how did you like the series, how are you liking it, or what was the most liked part of the video according to your opinions. And I'll obviously reply to them. And what did and also let me know what you dislike about the video also that will help me to make some essential changes. And as always, I'm open to suggestions for good. So with that thing, I'll close it for today and return very soon with another bit, another continuation. Until then, stay safe, stay home, follow the rules and keep smiling because you're beautiful. Peace everyone.